Military nuclear submarines are one of the most expensive and powerful weapons a state can possess. They can run 25 years without being refueled, cost billions to be built, and thus are equipped with powerful sonars so they can navigate and avoid collisions with rocks, ships, and other submarines. However, despite all this technology, two nuclear-powered submarines carrying nuclear ballistic missiles managed to collide in 2009. First of all, let's have a brief look at the submarines to understand better the consequences this collision could have caused. Vanguard, a British submarine, had a crew of 135 people. It was designed to carry 16 nuclear ballistic missiles. Triumphant, a French submarine, was carrying a crew of 111 and was also designed to carry 16 nuclear ballistic missiles. So that's a total of 246 people, 32 nuclear missiles and two nuclear reactors involved in an underwater collision. Two possible aspects contributed to the incident. First, one or both submarines left their operating areas. Secondly, they most likely had their active sonars turned off, so none of them could detect the other. A brief explanation of the active and passive sonars incoming. The active sonar emits a signal that is reflected by rocks or other vessels, thus allowing to detect their position. The passive sonar listens for signals, just like a human ear, and it can detect the vessels that use an active sonar. It's easy to see why the military submarines avoid using the active sonar, they simply don't want to be detected by others. Back to our collision, if the submarines had their active sonars turned off, they simply could not detect each other. The passive sonar was also helpless because both submarines were moving at low speeds and were covered with anechoic tiles that blocked the noise. The collision happened on the night between 3 to the 4th of February 2009 in the Atlantic Ocean. At the time of the collision both vessels were submerged, and what you see here is my attempt to illustrate how everything happened. Luckily the collision did not cause massive damages. Both submarines were able to return to the home basis on their own. No injuries were reported, and most importantly no radioactivity releases were reported. If there were any leaks from the nuclear reactors or missiles or even worse any explosions, this could have turned into an apocalyptic catastrophe. The cost of repairing the two boats was more than 50 million pounds at that time. One more thing to mention about this collision is the delay with which the French and British ministries of defense reported this case. The French thought they struck a sunken container, and only after comparing their notes with the Brits they understood what happened. The incident was confirmed on 16 February 2009, after 12 days. Both ministries of defense were accused of attempting a cover-up of the collision. And hiding a collision between two nuclear submarines carrying nuclear missiles isn't the wisest thing to do when there is the possibility of a nuclear leak. That's all I had to say about the collision. If you have something more to add, feel free to do it in the comments. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed it.